Hi everyone, welcome to this December edition of Tuesday Tips. What I wanna spend some time talking with you about today is the holiday recipes that we've created just so that you can start to automate the things that are happening around the holidays with your business. Let's get started. We'll go ahead, we'll click on create an automation and you can see here I've typed in holiday. So because I've searched this, all of the recipes with a holiday title will come up right here. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna actually focus on the first one, the drip series upon site visit. If we scroll over here, you can see that I've actually already set this up and built it out. The automation wizard will take you through doing this, but here let's focus on the automation and what it can do for you and your new contacts. Here you can see that the start trigger is that the contact is visiting your Boone's Bandana's Shopify store. You can set this link to be whatever makes the most sense for the journey you're about to put the contact on. We're also notifying that the contact's time zone is within the month of December. So this is an extra buffer for them to get into the automation. We wanna make sure that we're sending them the right message at the right time. And that means not sending them a holiday campaign, let's say in January or February. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna save our start, and then let's talk a little bit about the purpose of this automation. If we zoom out, you can see that they enter because they visited a web page, but we want to market to them in a specific tone. And our tone is going to be talking about the things that we're offering through our holiday sales, the discounts that they might be taking into consideration, and then any additional purchases that they can make in order to get their gifts taken care of for the holidays. So we have three different emails that go out. Now we can determine exactly what we want this time frame to be as well. If you maybe want to send one of these emails once a week up until the holidays, you can absolutely do that. We can change these time frames so that it reflects a long term what goes on as far as gift purchasing for your holidays. But what we can do here is really think about how this recipe works. It's triggering based on somebody visiting your site. So there's site tracking involved. Your site tracking has to be turned on and your contact has to be cookied. Then they'll come into this automation and two hours later, we're going to tell them about our holiday sale. Hey, here's all of the different things that we're offering you at Boone's Bandanas through the holidays. Purchase any time in December and get 15% off. And then we're waiting another week and we're going to say, hey, there's a different discount this week. If you make any kind of purchase, we'll donate that exact purchase to the animal shelter of your choice stocking stuffers maybe our tone here is looking for some last minute gifts for your stockings go ahead and search our bandanas collars leashes for an extra 15 percent off also take into consideration that you don't always have to offer a discount code you can use different tactics and strategies in order to really grab your contacts attention and make sure that they make a conversion or purchase from your shopify store Follow me along this journey for more holiday tips through December, and we'll get you all set up through automations.